I know there's a million videos on YouTube that show how to throw a casting net. But over the last little while, I've had some friends ask me to show them how. And I decided to show my lovely 13-year-old daughter, Elizabeth, how to throw one. So while I show her, we're going to video the process, and maybe you can pick up a few tips along the way. Elizabeth, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Hey, y'all. This is Beth with Armadillo Outdoor Adventures. And today, I'm going to learn how to throw a casting net. Back to you, Dad. Thank you, Elizabeth. First things first. When you buy a casting net, they come in a little bitty plastic box, just like this. You'll never get it back in this box. So, I keep my net in a two-gallon bucket, just like this one. Picked it up at the hardware store. Very handy to have. Um, you can fill your bait well with the bucket once you've pull the net out. Uh, if you're casting for bait at the boat ramp, you, you got a little place to put your bait until you can get it to the boat. Uh, good idea to have your casting net in a little bucket just like that one. Alright, before we get into throwing a casting net, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks uh, that I use to make my net work a little better for me. One thing to keep in mind when you buy a casting net, it's the type of water that you're going to throw this net into. The water that we throw a net into is stumpy and, and full of cover, so I don't spend a lot of money on my net. I go through about a net every year. So I'm not going to buy the most expensive net so that I can get it hung up on rocks and stumps and everything else and tear it and, ever, and ruin the net whenever I've spent 200 bucks on a net. I spend 75 bucks buy a net every year. The next thing that I, I'd like to suggest is that you relax your net before you start using it. What I do is as soon as I get the net home from the store right after I bought it, I take hot water, put it in one of my old coolers, fill it up with the with hot water, stick that net in there overnight. And this will let your net relax so that when you throw it it opens a little bit better for you. Make sure that it chokes on your wrist. If you're right handed, put it on your right hand. Loop it up just like a lasso. And you get the get the horn of the net, pick it up, and you choke the net. Bring it across to your hand. Choke the net about halfway between your waist and your shoulder. You pick the net up. Pick the net up, grab the net, grab it where you got the, the two lead lines, you got a front and a back, pull it out, got about half of the net in your left hand, you got it choked in the right hand, loop it over and lay it, loop it over and lay it through your thumb. Now I've got the wad that we had looped over through my thumb. And I reach down here, the line that's closest to me. I put it, flip it back, and back into my thumb. Now I've got my thumb. And I take the lead line that's closest to me, about halfway down the bottom. I swing it back and get it to open while I'm swinging. Swing it back, and 
as a throw. As a throw. Make sure it opens. I throw with this hand and I spin the bottom with this hand. time for the camera, man. Thanks for stopping by. All criticism is welcome. Please remember that there are ladies and children watching, so keep it clean. Please remember to shake the hand of a veteran, a police officer, or an emergency worker if you get the chance. Thanks again. I'll see you on the water.